Good morning, Enoch. <sighs> Try to make some tea, maybe some oats. Wash my hands and my beard. Well, I don't know if I feel worse or the cold feels better, but it's another day out there, just below zero. Clean my dishes. Oh, we've been lucky. Make a, a bowl out of this block of wood here. Oh, that's my belly grumbling. That's just my belly growling. That's my belly grumbling. Nice and easy. Nice and easy little chops there. Let's make sure you're not. Trying too hard. Ah. It's a good way to warm up. Now, well, cook something in a bit. You're hungry, aren't you? Yes! We're not just carving a bowl, we're training. Yes. We're training. There, we're training. There was this chief telling me some time ago now that him and his wife were having problems and I noticed one day canoeing that he'd keep doing these long hard strokes <sighs> when we were canoeing all he'd do was these big long hard strokes and I said no chief try short choppy strokes Short, gentle strokes. And he did. He came back to me and said, They're having another baby. Be gentle. Remember. Be gentle. Yeah, he came back and said, We're having a baby. Thanks to the short, choppy strokes. Well, isn't that great, I said. Getting warmed up now. So, where are we going to... And then this dimension, it'll be something like that, too. See? Long time no see, D.O.G. Good D.O.G. Good D.O.G.
when you're using short choppy strokes, you can count on this bowl taking you thousands of swings. Thousands of swings. So remember to be safe and diligent with every swing. With every swing you make. And I'm using an old technique here called the toe splice. Be careful. See? You removed a lot of material quickly. That's what I want. You can count on it taking you a while. But I got all day. And more importantly than having all day, it's having all your toes. So beware. Don't be in a rush. The start of a bowl. And use this edge of my hatchet. Keep your fingers outside the bowl like a shield. And it's good practice to switch hands. You're not doing any precision work here, you're just saving your muscles. Using all your muscles. You're just training here. Just using very simple techniques to get this done. Just short choppy strokes. Yes, thousands and thousands of strokes. That's not going to work today. It takes thousands of strokes. Don't have it in me. Not today. Almost imagine how good the oatmeal is going to taste now. Checking in. No need to count your swings. I already did. It was 10,000. 10,000 ago. 10,000 strokes and maybe more. There. That's better. Yes, 10,000 strokes and maybe more. <coughs> Damn it! Should have never cut this piece off. Nice and easy. A bowl of hatchet soup. There. Can't you hear the whistle blowing?
been working on the railway. It's warming up big time now. That was my stomach growling. Right here is the legendary Bigfoot Rock. Bigfoot Rock. Time for some breakfast. See what we got. It's an oatmeal. It's the Emberlite Fire Ant. Really a great stove. Very happy with it. Really like this. Heavy cover, canteen and cup. It's titanium so it heats up fast, cools down fast. Put some water in there. Some oats. Give it a stir. Yeah, a piece of an apple there. Look at that. Look at that. Get this fire going here. Get a piece of birch bark. I'm just gonna make some surface area and rough it up a little bit. There, that should be enough. There we go. Move it a little bit more out, outside there. I could burn this thing half the day. If I don't tip it over. Got lots of little wood chips. Very efficient. Just beautiful. What a spoon this is. I can't believe I almost forgot it. You can't have a powerful porridge without a piece of chaga. There, just broke off a piece of that chaga. Some apple chaga in the oatmeal. You'll live forever eating this way. Cloud Talker. See that coloration coming off the chaga? We'll take that and we'll put that piece right over here for now. We're going to reuse that someday. Some powerful porridge. Mm. Yes, you can spoon feed a hard looking baby with the length of this spoon.
Oh, that's good. Man, that's hot. The way I like it. Time to move on. Honey, honey, I'm home. Hey, honey. Had a good time, didn't uh, catch anything this time. But with a spoon. You finished carving this out. I was going to call her Polly, but that name was already taken. You keep carving that bowl out. Oh, she missed me, I can tell. Eat your cracker, Polly. I mean, sorry. I'm sorry, girl. You don't want to get their names wrong. I just want to talk to you about something even more important. The present. Presence. It was called living in the moment. And we all got the tools for the job. And practice presence. It was one gift the gods left us. That's right. So be aware. And practice presence. Presence. There's lots of great teachers out there. Teachers everywhere. Many great teachers. Even YouTube has some. But I want to say, remember, don't leave it all up to research. Instead, move away from that direction. And you'll be surprised to find you have all your answers. And enjoy the present. Huh. What's that mean? Oh, yeah, I love you. Enjoy the present. Yes. Girl. I love you. Girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. 
partner's right. Me and you. You can wear the magic hat for a while. Wanna hear a song? Here, let's hear a song. What do you think? I think it's all right. Looks all right to me. It's a little bit of a whistle. Should be enough smoke. And you thought a duck call was complicated. Yes. done.